Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra, this is Marty in his cute little cone because he had arm surgery. <laughs> and welcome to my bedroom tour. Now, if you're new here, I actually recently moved in December and so this is my new bedroom. And decorating this space was actually kind of tricky because in my old bedroom, which I have a video of linked up here, it was my favorite room probably ever. I found it so calming. Um, there was so much light. This bedroom was really different. When we moved in, one of the accent walls was like a navy blue. It felt really dark and yeah, it was kind of a challenge, but I can't wait to show you guys what I've done. I've transformed it into what I think is a really airy and tranquil space and I can't wait until you guys see it. So come on in. So as you guys probably noticed, this is pretty much the focal point of this room, this built-in bookshelf. And the really cool thing about this is that my friend Danny, my co-host of Buyer DIY, actually built this for me. She's incredible. She actually has a video of the whole process. So you can see what the bedroom looked like before these shelves went up and the whole process of her making them. The best part about these shelves is that they're actually renter friendly. There's no holes in the walls supporting these. When we move out, we could just disassemble the whole structure. They totally support themselves and feel like they're attached to the wall, but they aren't. Danny has an amazing channel um, where she does so many cool DIYs. She goes into people's spaces, fixes them with a DIY. I've linked her channel down below. Definitely go give this video some love. I feel like a lot of people have also messaged me to say they have an alcove like I do in their bedroom. And it's kind of like, what do you do with it? We had some bookshelves here before, but these just make the space feel so open and so airy. So my goal for this bedroom was to keep it really bright and really airy. Our friends Ed and Noel had painted this accent wall a really dark blue, which worked for their space because they had a lot of dark furniture. My goal was to really keep this really neutral. I wanted to use lots of white, lots of textures, because the rest of my apartment is filled with tons of color. But one place that I did want to have fun with color was this shelf. And one of the easiest ways to um, make your bookshelf look really styled and put together is just to color code the books. So we had all of these books. I simply organized them into different colored piles and then put them on the shelf in their kind of color genres. And it just looks like this beautiful rainbow of books, which is so fun. Another really easy thing to do in your shelves is to store things in boxes that are really bulky and you don't have anywhere else to put. So I have a camera box here. I have a box full of writing, just things over the years that you know I've jotted down, journals, that kind of thing. And I've labeled them with my retro label maker. And then another styling hack for your shelves, just to stack things um, vertically. So stack things upwards, place a trinket on top. Suddenly you'll step back and you'll be like, oh, my bookshelf looks so styled. When really like you just kind of put a bunch of colors together and stacked books, like it's that simple. <laughs> also, don't be afraid to add in lots of art, um, lots of, you know, colorful plants and baskets of pom poms and just like fun things to make your shelves feel full and styled. This velvet chair is from HomeSense. I love it so much. The color pink is perfect. So I just placed this in the corner with a pom-pom blanket on top. And this is gonna be a little reading nook, which I'm really excited about. And then I put this rug from H&M down in front of the shelf, again, just to add lots of cozy texture. This rug is from Rugs USA. I've mentioned them before. They have really um, inexpensive but beautiful rugs. This is wool. It has these little like tufts, almost like pom poms on it. A really textured rug is a must for a bedroom if you wanna make it feel cozy, but still minimal. So I still feel like this bedroom is serene. It's not cluttered, but it has lots of texture, which brings that cozy factor up like 10 notches. So this is one of Marty's favorite hangout spots. He's wearing a cone because if you're new to the channel and don't know, he had surgery on his arm. So he's healing and looks kind of funny, but still adorable. Right, Marty? Yeah. So I've mentioned this hack before, but I'm gonna mention it again. This bed was actually, I think it was 40 or $50 from Ikea, which is crazy. I'm gonna link it down below. And I actually stained it. The stain color and brand is also linked down below if you wanna get the look. And I just stained it a darker wood. I think it looks 
really beautiful and very stylish and high-end. I don't think you would ever know that this bed cost me like $40. So really simple hack and it just changed <laughs> the whole look of this bed. And I can't get rid of it because I just love it so much. It's simple, it does the trick. Also on the bed, I've put this pom-pom duvet cover. I've mentioned this in a couple of videos. I'll link it down below. It was off Amazon Prime. So it literally got delivered to my house in like a day. And... <laughs> so Marty keeps licking his cone thinking he's cleaning himself, but he's not. Doesn't that taste gross? Doesn't that taste gross? These curtains are also embellished with pom-poms. At first I was nervous about too many pom-poms, too many tassels, but I actually think it really works because I've stuck with a neutral palette. So it still looks really kind of minimal and neutral, but you have all of those textures again, which brings in the coziness. Um, I've mentioned this pillow before. I got this from Target. These are from HomeSense, again, with like the embellished details. Yeah, it just feels like so cozy and warm to me, which is the goal. So if you guys are decorating your own bedroom, I think that's the one thing to really keep in mind. Lots of texture, and if you're stuck on kind of a color palette um, and you like the neutral feel, go with accessories that are neutral but then are embellished with that texture um, to bring in that cozy feel. So these curtains are actually lined with a really thick um, backing, which makes them blackout curtains. So we don't have to hang a blackout blind. They do a pretty good job at blocking out the light. And that's another tip for you guys at home is to have fun with your curtains. You know, if you keep everything else pretty neutral, do some sort of embellishment on your curtains or, you know, a fun pattern or fun color. I've linked some options down below. Urban Outfitters has tons, actually, that's where I got these. They have tons of fun pattern curtains, which I was gonna go for. But again, I wanted to keep it neutral, I wanted to keep it airy and minimal, which is why I went for these. One thing that was really lacking in this space was a beautiful light. You guys know that this was in my living room before, but then I switched some things around and put it in here. I'm so happy with it. I mention this probably every video, but just switching up your lights in your rental is such an easy way to transform your space. I love how it hangs really low over the bed. I put a smart bulb in here so I can dim the light um, to add some ambiance and just like what a difference this light has made. It's a really statement piece and it's only $99. I joke about using this light in like every space that I do and I've kind of calmed down with it, but the reason I love this light so much is that it looks good in any space. It's still pretty simple, but the texture of it, the material of it is just beautiful. Because the ceiling is so low, I actually put a cup hook in the ceiling and just wove um, the cord around it so it goes to the height that I want it to. If you guys saw my old room tour, you know that I brought this piece from my old house. It's thrifted from a friend of mine. I love it so much. It's very mid-century modern. Everything else is really light in this room. This is the one dark piece, but it matches back to the bed, so I think it works. I think it's also really great to buy these big ticket furniture items secondhand or thrifted on Kijiji or Facebook Marketplace, whatever platform you use, because bedroom furniture is expensive. And so saving on a piece like this um, that's functional but also beautiful is pretty key. And I think it just adds some character. Like you could go with your standard kind of white dresser and change the knobs. I've done that often, but I do feel like a piece like this brings lots of character to your space, especially if everything else is really neutral. So you guys may notice that I actually don't have night tables on either side of this bed. This was something I struggled with because this space is so small that I felt like night tables were really gonna clutter up the space. I also for a while was thinking I would put something on the wall here, like little shelves. But actually, we have this windowsill right behind. So this is where I keep my reading light, my alarm clock is here, and my stack of books. So I think it's sometimes just finding ways to maximize the space you already have. I kind of felt like night tables would be a waste. And honestly, like we use this little platform behind the bed as our nightstand. So I don't feel like I miss them at all. If you don't have a windowsill that's that wide like I do, I would suggest doing little shelves on either side of the wall if you have a small space like I do and don't know where to put night tables. You could also do wall sconces. I was gonna do that for a while, I was thinking about it. But because we have this statement light and the reading light behind on the windowsill, I thought, again, sconces would kind of crowd the space. 
This is a really fun addition to this room. So because everything is really white, I wanted um, a bold pop of color other than the books. So I chose to paint my closet door pink. I searched high and low to find the perfect dusty pink and I think I found this color through Instagram. I think someone had painted their kitchen cabinets a pink color and I messaged them and I was like, what is that pink color? And on the paint card, it actually looks like a beige. So I never would have gone to the store and picked this pink um, because it looked kind of like orangey beige, but it turned out so well. I'm so happy with it. I've linked the color down below and I just think it's such a fun update to this space that cost me virtually no money. I got a really small can of paint um, and it took me about 20 minutes to do. When we leave, we're obviously gonna have to paint over this pink color. We're gonna have to paint it back to white, but I don't mind. I think we're staying here for a long time and I think it kind of ties this whole room together and is just really fun. I've also changed the knobs. I mentioned this tip in my renter friendly hacks video that take under 15 minutes. I'll link it up here. But again, I just feel like this closet looks so unique and so fun. All it took was some knobs and a can of paint. And then over here, I've just hung this really cute little rainbow print. This is actually from an artist named Emily Keating Snyder. And she reached out to me on Instagram. I fell in love with her work. She does these beautiful prints using um, thread and paint on canvas. And then she photographs them or you can buy her originals. There's so much texture. I just think it's so fun and happy and beautiful. She also sent me this other print, which is so beautiful. I love this mauve color. I thought for this space, I wanted to go with something yellow to play off all the pinks in the room. I thought that purple and pink was just kind of too girly, but I am obsessed with her work. I'm gonna link her down below. She's incredible. And I highly recommend you guys go check out her work. So thank you, Emily, for this beautiful, beautiful print. So this basket I also had in my old house. It was a plant pot at one time. It's been like many different things, but I'm using it as my laundry basket. Again, a really good tip for you guys is just to get a decorative basket and use it as your laundry bin. I feel like when you come into this room, you don't necessarily know it holds our dirty laundry, but it's decorative, it's wide, it's big. It's just really functional and also looks really beautiful as well. And then through this door is our bathroom. And if you guys wanna see the makeover that I did to this teeny tiny bathroom for under, I think it was $400 or something. It was a budget video. I'm gonna link that up here. It's a really beautiful space, I think. Um, and great that it's right off of our bedroom. Thank you guys so much for watching my new bedroom tour. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite element of the space was. I'm pretty sure it's the shelves. They're gorgeous. Go watch Danny's video and leave her a comment that you came from this bedroom tour. Let her know, show her some love. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Friday. Bye. Say bye Marty. He's asleep.